RAM is one of the most important factors in determining game performance. DDR5 memory kits have entered the mainstream market with the forthcoming release of Intel's 14th generation processor and AMD's Ryzen 7000 Zen 4 chips. Higher bandwidths and shorter latencies are promised, but is upgrading to more expensive DDR5 RAM worth it only for gaming? To assist you decide, let's compare DDR4 with DDR5 in a variety of ways. While both DDR4 and DDR5 RAM come in color-coded PCBS for easy identification, green for DDR4 and black for DDR5, and their internal specifications differ quite a bit. Current DDR5 modules go up to 16 GB per stick density versus 16 GB per module for DDR4. So DDR5 allows higher per stick capacities, especially moving forward. A key area where DDR5 shines is memory bandwidth. With support up to 69.2 GB per second using two 32-bit channels over double compared to dual-channel DDR4's 33.6 GB per second, this greatly reduces memory bottlenecks. DDR5 operates at just 1.1 volt lower than DDR4 is 1.2 volt for increased power efficiency and less heat generation DDR5 incorporates more power saving technologies as well. An area where DDR4 still holds an edge is latency at 90.0 nanosecond versus 92.8 nanosecond for DDR5. Although DDR5 kits are rapidly catching up lower latency translates to faster response times, while DDR4 tops out at around 3200 MT per second officially. DDR5 clocks much higher with kits available at 5 E600 MT per second speeds, and speed grades will further ramp up over time. DDR5 makes significant improvements here with 75% bank accessibility during refresh, allowing background operations to continue. While DDR4 has zero access during refresh stalling active operations. So on paper, DDR5 wins in terms of density, bandwidth, and speed, but does that actually impact real-world gaming? Let's take a look. Although DDR5 looks far superior specification-wise, most gaming workloads are still largely bound by graphics card performance at higher resolutions. At 1080p gaming upgrading from 16GB DDR4, 3200MHz to DDR55, 600MHz can provide FPS improvements of 25% for GPU-bound scenarios. However, at 1440p or 4K resolutions, any RAM performance differences get reduced to margin of error levels. The minor 1080p uplifts also do not justify the current high price premiums of DDR5 memory. You can get two 16GB DDR4 RGB kits for under $150 that provide ample bandwidth for gaming needs. A similarly species DDR5 alternative costs over 1.5x more. However, certain CPU-dependent titles like simulation or strategy games can benefit more from DDR5's increased memory bandwidth. Upgrades here can drive 5 to 10% better minimum FPS if your graphics card is already sufficiently powerful. DDR5's higher overclocking potential can also help breach FPS barriers if your specific gameplay demands every last bit of performance. But thermal overheads of overclocking DDR5 are currently higher. Although current real-world gaming gains may not warrant paying extra for DDR5, Future-proofing your PC for two, three upgrade cycles is where DDR5 has a clear edge. DDR5 is still in its infancy with speed grades expected to hit over 10,000 MT per second by 2025 based on JEDX standards. Latencies will also drop while maintaining higher bandwidths. Future GPUs will be powerful enough to expose these memory bottlenecks when paired with today's CPUs. So investing in a good DDR5 kit now can pay dividends down the line. 
DDR4 is nearing the end of its potential having peaked in speeds and densities. The flagship AMD Ryzen 9 on 795X3D with its stacked L3 cache further reduces traditional memory bottlenecks. But its limited DDR5 only compatibility signals where things are headed. Upcoming games will inevitably demand faster RAM. Here is where DDR4 retains an advantage compatibility. Most existing desktop platforms still utilize DDR4 RAM. Only 12th gen or later versions of Intel chips and AMD's Ryzen 7000 families support DDR5. So, you must also upgrade your motherboard and probably the CPU before swapping out DDR4 for DDR5. This bulk upgrade requires a platform overhaul stretching budgets. If you already own DDR4 RAM, upgrading the rest of the platform to use DDR5 provides minimal gaming improvements currently. Sticking to DDR4 allows rootalizing existing RAM and saves money. While DDR5 RAM delivers substantially higher memory bandwidths and speed grades for the future, actual gaming improvements at common resolutions are quite marginal. The small performance uplifts rarely justify DDR5's much higher price premiums currently. Upgrading other components like GPU or CPU instead provides more noticeable gains. However, if building an entirely new setup opting for DDR5 can future-proof your rig for years and provide some gains in CPU-limited titles. Overclocked DDR5 can also push FPS boundaries for competitive gamers. Otherwise, get a powerful GPU first before considering DDR5. Eventually, DDR5 price parity with DDR4 should happen, making full upgrades more feasible down the line. So, choose based on budget, performance targets, and anticipated longevity. But either DDR5 or DDR54 can deliver great gaming experiences currently, even if DDR5 has long-term brighter prospects. That's all for today. Thanks for watching our video. Like and share with your friends if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.